Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for joining me for this video. This video is one that I am very excited to make for you guys because it is about a couple of new palettes that I've just added to my collection recently and they are amazing. So I couldn't wait to share this with you guys. And they are the two Natasha Denona palettes. So I have the Sunset palette right here, which is the gorgeous gold palette. This is kind of like a faux leather packaging, which I really, really like because if this is something that you want to keep in your kit, you can keep this very clean. You can wipe it off. $129. It was hard for me to pull the trigger on this baby, but uh, <laughs> after drooling over it for so long, I went ahead and said, just treat yourself and just get it. So now being that this palette is $129, keep in mind that the packaging is very, very sturdy. It has a magnetic enclosure here that keeps it snapped shut really tightly. It also has a full size mirror in there. Now this little plastic sheet, love them or hate them. Some people consider these um, a pain in the butt and then some people love them because the thing is, is that it honestly protects your shadows. It's a nice little cover right here. I don't want to blind you guys. But um, it does have the shade names on there. So you can see because the shade names aren't actually on the palette itself. It's only on that plastic sheet. Um, the shade names are also listed on the box. Um, you can, if you want, it is perforated. So you can tear this out and actually stick it to the back of the palette if you want to be able to know what the names are. But for the money, being that this is $129, you can see I've used mine quite a bit. Um, but you get a substantial amount of product in this palette. I do enjoy the packaging because it's easy to clean. You're getting a crap ton of, of product for your money. So if this is something that you're using on clients, um, you'll have this for a long time without hitting pan, which is really, really nice. When you have little tiny palettes like, you know, the Lorac Pro Palette. I mean, it says it's a pro palette, but let's be real. It's so easy to hit pan on those because those pan sizes are really, really small. So with this, definitely a makeup artist like tool. It's fantastic. So why don't we jump into some swatches of the Lila palette? I'm gonna start with this first row. Really creamy, smooth, buttery mattes. I have to say the, the finishes of these colors, I believe there's three different finishes in this palette. There we go, now it's focusing. Uh, three different finishes. You've got some metallics, you've got some mattes, and you've got some satins. The mattes feel like butter. I mean, they feel buttery smooth. They blend well on the eyes. There we go. Great blendability, great buildability as well. These build on top of each other really nice without getting muddy. Beautiful colors, very saturated pigments. I love it. So that is part of the first row. Next up, we've got another matte baby right here. I mean, the purple in here is just these colors. Like, look at this purple shade. Like, look at this. I mean, are you kidding me? Who does not want to slather that all over their lid? Gorgeous. These are not powdery. They are not chalky. And I'm only doing one swipe with my finger across my hand. absolutely stunning shades very unique colors to my collection a lot of these are very um there we go ah very unique like that purple shade as much eyeshadow as i have i have to say i don't think i have something in my collection that it looks exactly like that so i'm really excited about this palette now i know i've heard some people say oh well, you know it's not a standalone palette um you have to add something with it or whatever the case may be now for me I feel that it is a standalone palette. I've done several looks with this palette without using any other palettes at all. And I've been very, very happy with the looks. I've been very happy with the looks that I've gotten out of this palette. So for me, these colors work very well because I can use this as a brow bone highlight. I can use this like as a transition shade. This is a beautiful lid color. So, I mean, I can really play with these shades on my skin tone and use this as a standalone palette. I mean, I could see adding a black if you wanted to make something really, really smoky, but these shades work well together. There we go. Yet again, just one swipe. I mean, do you see the color on that? They are so just shiny. They glisten. I mean, look. These colors are ridiculously gorgeous. Natasha Denona eyeshadow formula. I mean, 
It took me so long to make the decision to purchase these palettes. Like I really thought long and hard about it because that $129 was just, you know, you got that little, this little angel over here and this little devil over here going, well, girl, I don't know if you should spend $129 on a palette. And then once I got the first one and I swatched it and I played with it, I was like, crap, now I have to buy the other one. I love it that much. So, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself and I'm getting this. All right, so let's swatch these here. And then check this out. I mean, just to die for pretty. So gorgeous. Purple shadows can be hard for different brands to create just because purple can get patchy. I mean, it can get muddy. It can be chalky. Not in this palette. Everything in this palette is pretty darn stunning. It goes from buttery smooth to just ugh, even more creamy and pigmented. I love it. I'm having so much fun with this already. All right. So that is the Lila palette. Time to swatch the Sunset palette. Now this one is definitely colors that are in my zone. It's got several different finishes in this palette as well. Let's get this baby open. Same packaging, just a different color. Flips all the way back. Um, I mean, but this gorgeous color right here in the bottom, oh, that is like the shade that drew me to the palette. What is the name of that one? Let's see. Come here, Paige. Um, so that is called Pangen. Boy, Pangen was calling my name right there. How gorgeous is that? Now this definitely is a standalone palette being that it is more neutral, but it's neutral, but it has a ton of colors that work as just a beautiful pop of color. You can do great sunset looks with this palette. I mean, just beautiful. Definitely a standalone palette. Like same thing with the Lila palette. There was no black. This one, there is no black, but I have enough black shadows in my collection. That's not something that I was worried about. Now this one has a few different finishes in it. It has a one finish in particular called a Chroma Crystal, which I believe is this shade right here. Cause that one kind of looks like it's got a different finish to it, a little bit more going on than just being metallic. But like, are you not obsessed with this color scheme? I think this color scheme is really, really hot right now, but it's because it looks good on every different skin tone. So here are a few of those little finger swatches. There we go. If I can move my big head out the way, I can focus. All right, let's get some swatches on the back of my hand here. I think this may be the palette that most people jump on to kind of like start with, being that it is a little bit more neutral. They're less afraid of these shades, but once they get this one, this would be like the gateway drug, and then they'd be like, okay, it's so good. Now I want the Lila palette. Okay. All right, next up. Let's get some more swatches in here. Ooh, they're so pigmented. Like you really have to clean your hands off really good. Like, look at that, like super pigmented, but they blend like a dream. Okay, man, okay. I've actually used this one a few times, but I have used the, um, the Lila palette actually more because I was so excited about those shades. Look how gorgeous, like, look at this. Oh my gosh, that's that chroma crystal. I bet you it is right there. Look at that baby. Ooh, you can see that one from space when you pop it on your lid. Okay. Oh my goodness, like look at these swatches. Are you kidding me right now? I love these palettes. Like absolutely love them. Like hands down, amazing. But if you don't wanna invest, you know, the 129 right off the bat, she does make those um, five pan palettes and I believe those are $48 each. So that's a great way to like try out some shadows from the brand too, if you're not ready to jump in with the 129, which I would completely understand because it took me a little bit to pull the trigger. All right. Like this right here is just glistening. Oh, so pretty. And then look at this one. Ooh, gorgeous. I mean, wow, how beautiful are they? Ugh. Oh. 
I don't know if, as much as I love them, I don't know if I'll ever get to the point where I'll pay the $239 for those really huge palettes. As much as I love the formula, I don't know if I'll ever be that brave. <laughs> but $129, like, uh, I was trembling, but I, I went for it anyway, but I don't know if I'll ever get to the $239. I'm just not sure about that one, but I can definitely say the quality is there from the patch, packaging to the product. I mean, just an amazing product. I mean, she really has nailed it with this eyeshadow formula. So I definitely can't take anything away from it. It's just $239 is too rich for my blood. That is all. But for those who have them, I'm sure they enjoy them quite a bit. Like, look at this. Are you kidding me? This is, this is that color that just said, buy me, buy me. Love it. And there are the last three. I mean, that bottom shade, are you kidding me right now? Blending that through your crease and your outer V, smudging a little bit in the lower lash line and putting that super metallic gold on the lid. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. Kind of just make your eyes look like they are on fire. Love it. So I can't say enough good things about these Natasha Denona palettes. I am just over the moon, stoked, happy about my purchase. So happy to have these in my collection. If she comes out with another one of these, I'm like 99% sure I'll pay the 129 and get it. Um, especially if there's like a VIB sale or something like that going on with Sephora where you get to save a little bit of money. Um, definitely, definitely pull the trigger. They are wonderful palettes. So thank you guys so much for joining me for this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the swatches and it kind of helped you be able to make a decision on whether or not you wanted to pull the trigger on these palettes. Um, comment below if you already own them or if you're on the fence and kind of just like let me know. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.